Hey, lovelies, welcome to our creative meditation for today. And today we're going to be focusing on gate 61, inner truth, which is where the sun is at the moment. I have this gate and it's um, it's quite something. It can be a little bit tormenting sometimes as we search and try to find um, some sense of truth for ourselves. So as with all my creative meditations, what you need is a piece of paper and some sort of pen or pencil. I have just simple markers today, so I'm going to be using markers um, and I'll be drawing here. And if you at any stage need any guidance, just um, look over here. And I'll be starting with a short meditation of about you know, almost five minutes. And then I'll be moving in to guide you step by step through navigating this external energy and how do we navigate it internally. So the work that I do is about taking our charts, our human design charts, the transits that we live under and ex are exposed to the energies that surround us. I'm really about bringing that into the body, into a more embodied experience. And the tool that works really well for me is drawing. Um, and through meditating and drawing, I can connect in and understand those energies in a completely different way and find another way of observing them and watching them. So let's get started. So to start our meditation, have your uh, drawing materials nearby because we'll be going straight into um, drawing after our meditation. But let's just find a way of sitting, relaxing and coming back to ourselves. So I want you to just really nestle into your chair, you know, put your back, Plant those sit bones deep into your chair and travel right even down to your feet. And I want you to plant your feet on the ground. I want you to feel the support of the ground, of the earth, of what's underneath you. So the 61 may be all the way up here at the top of the head. But how do we ground these energies in and feel them in a more visceral way? So let's start with our breath. When I say start with our breath, let's just breathe in and out and watch ourselves, notice ourselves breathing in and out. And even in saying that, there's nothing to change. We're not here to change anything. We're here to observe. You may have your eyes closed, you may have your eyes open, but I'd like you to just notice the sensation of breathing. What's happening internally as you breathe? The expansion and contraction of your breath. the rise and fall of your chest. Rise and fall of your shoulders. Perhaps the cool air moving in through your nose or mouth. Perhaps a slightly warmer air being breathed out. And come back to your senses. Can you hear your own breath? Can you hear what's in the room around you? Is there a smell or a scent that's captivating your attention? Perhaps there's a taste in your mouth from your drink from your last meal. Perhaps you're captivated by the 
blotches and swirls and darkness behind closed eyes. Or perhaps you really feel your clothing moving on your skin, the touch as your chest expands and contracts. Just sinking in. Just relaxing. Just surrendering to this breath, this moment. Allowing yourself to receive, receive your breath and receive what may emerge on the page today. And in your own time, moving to your art materials. I'm gonna, I'm using a marker today, so I'm just gonna say marker. And we're going to work with repetitive pattern and shape today. And what we're going to do is draw a C shape, half a circle. And then we're going to go into the opposite, but not touching just a little bit apart from what you've just drawn. And I want you to replicate that again. So we're going to continue with this action over and over again. Doesn't matter what size it is, Doesn't matter how little or how much of the page it takes up. I really want you to work with this circle, yet this circle that has this space in between. If you're using colors, Feel free to change your colors at any time. What's beginning to emerge is a range of bigger, smaller circles with this space in between. Your circles can be tiny, your circles can be big. And when you're ready, I want you to start aligning your breath to the creation of these circles. So in your own time, taking a breath in and creating one part of the circle, drawing, and then on your breath out, drawing the other half. So we're now connecting breath to mark making. Doesn't matter how big the circle is, just allow the breath to follow your action. And what I want you to do is notice the pause 
in between the breath. So breath in, there's a pause. Breath out, there's a pause. Pause, breath in. Pause, breath out. And what we're beginning to touch on here, and please continue to notice the breath, the pause, the mark. And really begin to feel that pause in your body. Really noticing the pause between breaths, between the in and the outer breath. Just notice your pattern. Are your circles getting bigger or smaller? Are they all the same size? Are they clustered in one part of the page with the rest of the page blank? Where are the sensations in your body now? How do you feel this pause on a visceral level? Is there a sense of aliveness somewhere? Perhaps in the chest or in the sit bones? Is there a sense of Stillness, softness emerging. Where do you feel this? So what we're dealing with, for me, with gate 61 or hexagram 61, is that moment that pause where the truth drops. You may notice that sometimes a, a thought or an inspiration comes in and it lands, it really lands. And actually the hairs on the back of your neck may go up, you might get shivers, Something changes with that knowing that emerges from that inspiration. Or it may be you're in a conversation, talking to a friend or colleague. And they say something or you say something completely unexpected. And again, it lands. Why would you think about this as you're creating all of these small little stops, all these small pauses, all of these small interruptions? really beginning to recognize and realize how that space feels in your body. And perhaps from here, you can connect them outside of here in another conversation on another day.
So with this in mind, going back to that simple, visceral feeling. A simple feeling of breathing in, pausing, breathing out, pausing. Once again, returning to the body. Noticing where you feel this pausing in your body. Hmm. In your own time, finishing up, finding a way of ending these marks, this movement on the page this awareness of breath, finishing it up in a way that feels correct for you. Perhaps stopping for a minute and just taking in and asking yourself, what do you see? Is there a word that springs to mind or a memory that's really at the forefront of your thinking? Perhaps just for a moment, touching your heart, taking a breath in, taking a breath out, repeating this. And thanking yourself for taking time out today to tune in to this inner world of yours. And playing with these external energies that surround us. For those of you who want to explore in greater detail aspects of your chart that may be a little bit more familiar or that you want to play with, I have creative human design sessions where I work one-on-one -on -one with you. I'll put the information below. Or if you just want to travel with the weekly transits, I have a weekly creative meditation groups that work, that meet on a Monday evening. Again, I'll put the information below. So I hope you enjoy this transit and all that it brings. Hmm. And have a good week. Take care.